Hi, Gemini. Oh, welcome to your reading. My name is Edgar Mendez, and today we're doing a reading focused on who is desiring you right now. I want to say who is desiring you most. Um, so I feel like you may have multiple suitors or many people who are very interested in um, getting to know you better or even to getting to know mm, your body better, right? It's, there's a lot of people I feel who are interested in you. Um, I'm happy you're here. I know I love you. No, I care. No, you mean the world to me. And I want to let you all know I do have a uh, private reading bookings open as well as same day readings. Okay. So let's take a look here. Let's knock the energy out. So who is desiring Gemini? So who is desiring Gemini most? That's actually only a phrase it. Who is desiring Gemini most? Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Who is desiring Gemini most to stay? Let's take a look here. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see who's desiring you most, Gemini. We have rescue coming to us. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, it came out with heal the ouch. All righties, with the rescue on the board, you know, I feel here it could, it could be someone from your past. That's actually what it felt like to me, but we'll take a look as the overall. We have the Golden Palace. This came through for Aries' reading, which I actually find was actually a, very, a, very, a cornerstone of Aries' reading, but let me organize this for you. Um, um, Gemini, <laughs> I hope you're doing all, I hope you're all doing well. With the rescue on the board and the heal the ouch, I feel like a lot of you is who's desiring you most is someone from your past or an ex. Have a clarifier on that. We have strength coming through. Um, that reminds me of compassion, right? Uh -huh. Um, one thing I am seeing here is that this person that is desiring you is going to require a lot of strength, a lot of fortune. I even want to say conviction um, to take actions towards you and to come together. This is someone who doesn't want to face something that they've done to you, pain that they've caused you, or even um, grief that they've caused you, or even ha havoc or chaos that they brought into your life. Um, with that heal the out here, this is someone who has a game plan. They have purpose. They have... um. Um, they have direction with uh, with this desire for you. They don't just want, I want to say, to smooth things over. I don't want to say it like that. I don't want to say it like this. It's not that. It's not the way they want. Um, they look, they're looking for something very long term with you. But they know that they're going to have to make their way through all that pain that they've caused you or all that havoc that they brought into your life. With that come together, this is someone I feel you intuitively and I feel um, emotionally want to come together with with because they mean something to you. Um, with that rescue and that few of dreams, this person does play out in their mind how this is going to happen. How it actually happens, how it actually manifests into the physical, pff, who knows, right? Um, but this is someone who has this idea about how it's going to happen, how it's going to play out, and it seems to go well in this person's mind. Um, but with that few of the dreams here, this came through as well for Aries' reading. Sometimes we can get trapped in our fantasies about what we could do or what we should do or what we wish we've done, right? And rather than actually taking control in our present moment to fix the problem at hand and to make our life better, I feel like they could be stuck here just a little bit. Um, I feel like one of this person's biggest uh, reasons why they're stuck is they don't really want to face the problems. Um, hmm. I don't think they want to face what they've done altogether. It's there. They want to. They want to heal it. But there is some fears there nonetheless. Um, Golden Palace is that there is always enough. Um, and I feel like uh, this person feels like they're enough for you and that you are enough for them. And enough in like that good way, right? We have listening coming through. Um, this is someone that you're going to uh, – they're probably a good listener. They, at least they are at this, um, this time. Um, but they – hope that you listen to them. They hope that you give them, um, uh, -huh. uh, uh, have an open mind, open heart when they do reach out to you. And again, this is someone from your past who's desiring you again. They're trapped in that, that fantasy though. Um, let's see if they take actual action. The wizard of awareness, this tells me this person has been thinking about taking action towards you for quite some time. Um, I feel, I feel, um, that they might, uh, with that wizard of awareness. But again, um, you know, wizards, they're sitting here adamantly waiting. Um, and it's like, they're waiting for a sign or something, or they're waiting for, uh, I don't know, universe to manifest it. And my experience, you know, especially when it comes to things with, you know, when other people's free will or, uh, very specific things that we're looking for, we often have to take the action that we feel guided to take. The number three, um, reminds you of abundance, but the empress energy, this is someone who's trying to attract you into their life or attract the circumstances that they can heal your connection into their life rather than taking 
direct action towards you. And uh, a lot of people get stuck there. So let's see. Let's see what that means. Um, mm, Let me get tarot. Uh, let's see. So who is desiring right now a Gemini? Who's desiring Gemini? Um, again, this is someone who wants to heal things with you. Uh, and they want to fix things with you. But, but they're waiting for that chance. Um, <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, they're waiting for that chance. Okay, let's take a look here. So who's desiring Gemini? Who's desiring Gemini? Um, we have the first card, the Hermit, and it's reverse. They don't want to, like, spy on you. They don't want to keep tabs on you from a distance anymore. This person is looking to get closer to you. Um, this could be someone you've never been intimate with or someone that um, there, was not, there wasn't much emotional intimacy. Um, with that King of Wands, sorry, Knight of Wands here, and the Five of Wands, and it's reverse. They're a little bit younger than you or younger than you are. With the Five of Wands as a verse here, I got to be honest with you, and I'm not saying that they're a bad suitor or anything like that, and I don't see that at all anyway. It's not coming through, but um, they may come across as someone who may not be as strong as you may be looking for. They're trying. I see this person's trying to grow, evolve, and um become a king of wands, exactly what I feel like to me. I had a slip though, so maybe they're close. I don't know, but um, you may look at this person and think they can't handle this situation or maybe they can't express themselves. Give them a chance, right? Follow your heart. I feel like this is something that you desire to be healed, um, being open to this person or even, I want to say, to not have a... Um, not judge them so harshly. Uh, we'll, we'll just it, it will help things go smoothly. Anyway, uh, we have the Queen of Wands. That's you, huh? You want to push this person out, whoever they are. So how you know who they are? You don't. You, there, there's a big part of you that just wants to say, "Hell no!" All right. Uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles coming through. Mm -hmm. So how you can know this person, Gemini? This is someone in the past where you really wanted to get married to. You really wanted something long term with, and you really wanted to have a relationship with. It never manifested. It never happened that way. Either it never grounded, or it, you never even crossed. I don't know. Um, I was watching the movie. I will say it. it, it, it it's um, damsel on, on Netflix, and I saw in the scene there was two people holding hands, and it stood out to me a lot. Some of you, you may not have even held this person's hand, all right? Um, but this is someone where you may not be that open to having a relationship with them, but I feel like you are open to healing things with them. So keep that in mind. Um, but this is someone you did at one point see a future with, a true future with as well. And we don't often get that with a lot of people. Uh, most people you almost never do, right? They're just not yours, right? They're not for you. With the Hermit and Reverse and the Empress, you know that they're spying on you. You don't care. I feel like you definitely keep yourself to yourself. Um, it makes them go uh, huh, more gaga for you. It is what, it's, it's, it's just what came through. Um, with the Hermit though, and it's Reverse and the Empress, this is someone that you really wanted to open up to more and you never really got that chance, all right? The Seven of Wands and the Two of Wands, it's Reverse, it's funny. You had to give up on this connection for a lot of views. Um, someone from your past that you gave up on or that you had to let go, they're coming in or they want to, and that's who's desiring you most right now. Um, with the Two of Wands and it's Reverse here, they have to tell you something different, give you something different for you to change your mind. Because it feels like for the most part, you've made up your mind on this person, um, where you stand, how you feel, and where uh, the potential, um, where you stand, where, where you, uh, how you feel, and um, I feel like a potential future, right? I feel like you're very set on this. You're not that interested. And unless they come in completely different, unless you get what you didn't get the first time, whatever were you missing the first time? We have the ace of an offer, a, a real offer. Again, a lot of you, I feel like this never got past that very beginning stages with that ace of pentacles here. At least it either got to this and never made it beyond it or it never got to that. Uh, what you're missing is that offer, something tangible, something that you can hold on to. Um, a really good example for this is something that you can actually hold someone accountable for as well. I know it's crazy, but um, when you hear like sweet nothings, you know, what could you really say about that, right? You know, but when you have someone who says they're committing to you or um, they'll be there and then you can really fact check it, I think that's what you're looking for in some degree. But uh, you definitely want an offer. You definitely want something tangible and something that you can grab onto. Um, yeah, I'll leave it like that. Some of you, there may have been um, some blocks and restrictions. You definitely want that removed. All right. So let's get a little bit more. I want to know who uh, who is desiring. Um, You know, I actually want this deck right here. Um, I am just 
I want this one for you, Gemini. Uh, who is desiring Gemini? Like what? Who? Like no. Let me see. What do they want? Because I feel like you clearly know who this is. I think it's an ex or something like that, or someone from your past. Um, I. Um, but let's see. What do they want with Gemini? We have the velocity of Earth. Interesting. Mm -mm -mm. I feel like with the velocity of Earth, that is like the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Um, they're not quite sure what they want. Um, but they do know they want to heal things with you. I feel like this conversation, how it goes, the communication, even the eye contact that you both share are going to dictate and determine um, what they are what their intentions are and what they're open to. Right now, I feel like where it currently stands, they can barely get get uh, barely take any action towards you or even work up that strength to take action towards you. You don't want to hear from this person. And it's interesting. That will then determine, uh, I guess, your, your communications that you have with each other, where it leads, where it goes, and um, I, the destination. All right. Uh, let's see. What else are their intentions? We have the Ten of Earth. They are looking for something long-term here. I feel like in the past, especially with that Knight of Wands, they, you may have, huh, I think you wanted this in the past. You don't want it anymore. And now they do. And it's like... I don't know. I didn't even know what to say to that. Uh, uh, this, they're very clear. If in a perfect world, they would want a, a long-term connection with you, marriage, and even to grow old with you. Um, uh, they would want that, but um, I, I don't. I don't know. It, it, it's it's. <laughs> It's clear you're a little reluctant, right? We have the mage in its reverse. This is the magician. That's that manifestation. You know, this is very masculine energy. This is what you I feel you want from this person. Um uh, because I see this person reluctant to take actions towards you. But um with the magician in reverse, I, I feel like their intentions are to communicate with you because that is Mercury. But I feel like you want more forward or direct communication from this person. Um you want more clear intentions from them as well. We have the water. What's funny here, um, Gemini's, I don't know if this was maybe a past thing for you or um, maybe it's something you're currently working through, but you don't care as much about being firm with your standards or knowing exactly what it is that you want. Like if, they, if they're not, if they can't give you what you're looking for, what makes you happy, you don't want them. And I don't know. It's just coming through a little bit. I know it's like the craziest thing, but it's clear. It's like, it, I feel like in the past, maybe you second guessed yourself or maybe you doubted, or maybe you thought you had to settle. Uh, not anymore. I, I don't know what you've gone through recently and what you've, what life has taught you, but what life has taught, I don't know, the ones I'm reading for is to not settle. <laughs> it, it's to um, um, take everything, right? Is that, is that feeling? Uh, anyway, and we also have the seven of earth for their intentions. It's to invest. I got to be honest with you though. Um, overall is going to be the generosity of earth is the king of pentacles. I feel like this person will come in, um, and they're not going to, they're not going to want your connections to move fast that fast, but they are open to that. And that openness, like the, an open heart, open mind, I feel like it's going to mean the world to a lot of you as well. I'll live with that. How would they feel about that? We have the three of fire and it's reverse. Um, it's too little, too late. That's funny. <laughs> with the three of fire, this is also about not waiting. I don't know. Um, I I feel like this person is going to want to uh, take your connection very slow, um, and you may want to take it very fast. It's very funny, anyway. Um, I, I again, I am feeling like a clash here between what you both want, how you both feel, and what you're both looking for from each other. All right, let's get some channel messages and then some guidance. So, can I get channel messages for Gemini from this person that is desiring the most? What does this person want to say to Gemini, to Gemini viewers, Gemini Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus, let's see. I'm focused on me. There's that Knight of Wands there. I do feel right now this person, uh, they're still working up that courage. They're still growing. They're still evolving. They're still trying. Know this, um, uh, Gemini. Know this when I say this. Uh, this person, uh, hmm. They, 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 they're very focused on you as well, all right? Um, they're very focused on making this offer, that Ace of Cups. Um, let's see. If I call, yeah, there it is. I know, I know. There is an uncertainty with this, with that judgment here, right? This person has had an awakening. I do feel they, they see things clearer now. But if they were to make a phone call, if they were to make an offer, if they were to – there's the Ace of Cups, right? If, if they were to uh, tell you how they feel – what would happen? Would you even answer this? There's a reluctance here. Um, I feel like if this person were to call you, that would take pretty much 
everything to do so based on where they are now. Um, this could be based on their life, but I feel like this person is still evolving into who they're meant to be. Um, uh, I feel that like too, a lot of responsibilities. Let's see, can I get one more card, one more channel message? Uh, we have, I'm working hard on myself. I do feel that. I'm going to take this one as well. I walked away to find myself the two eights. Um, they're on a long journey of self-discovery as well. I see this person evolving and growing, right? Um, the magician again. <laughs> so do, you, huh? do you believe in magic? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. They are getting over those fears. There's a lot there. Uh, I think that's it. I actually like it. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to get a little guidance for you and wrap your reading up, uh, Gemini. Um, do you believe in magic? They have gone through a lot of change, I suppose, but it almost like, it honestly kind of feels like some of you, you may uh, start talking to this person and it may feel too, too good to be true. I'll leave it like that. It's not exactly the same thing, but mm, I'm, it does feel like that. Let's see. We have guilt coming through um, for you guys. We have health. Interesting. I feel lately, Gemini, that there's a lot of people in your life who want a lot from you. They want, um, maybe they need your time. Maybe they need your energy. Maybe they need your insights, right? I feel like you are someone people look to for guidance and you're having a hard time finding your balance, um, getting into a healthy place and you're having a hard time keeping yourself in alignment. And it's making you feel very guilty to have to push people away right now or have to um, say no. And I feel like saying no is important for you. Um, do not underestimate the power of no. Um, but I feel here with that guilt and that health, um, you're feeling really guilty about saying no. You're feeling really guilty about not being able to give people as much as you normally do. Um, you're going through a, a growth stage. You're growing into someone who's going to be very abundant, someone who can attract in um, I want to say bigger and better things, but it's requiring you to pull some of your energy away. I remember when I've gone through really, um, a, a really big cycles where I was growing a lot, I was exhausted. I mean, I, I couldn't believe how tired I was. I feel here, um, what you have, <laughs> um, a Gemini is you're growing right now and you're evolving. It's making you, um, it's making you pull back your energy. A uh, good example for me is I, I, uh, if I'm too tired, I won't give my dog a walk. He gets one almost every single day, actually pretty much every single day. I, I swear I'm like 90, 98% there. Anyway, um, I just, I'll have to, I, I can't, right. I feel like you're having experiences like this. Do not feel guilty. Focus on you or right? you can't help anyone. If you can't, if you're not in a good place, and you can't help anyone if you are not um, healthy, all right? Uh, we, we have success here in imagination. Hmm. I feel like the success is, is to self-love. Um, there's no greater success than to have self-love, all right? Um, for Yeah, right, all right. Um, I thank you, Gemini. Please don't forget to like and comment, and take care. Bye.